this is what happens when we get into the stressed state. Number one, what he calls an alarm reaction. This is much of what we just talked about. We get a stress. We get an accident. We have something hit us. The sympathetic nervous system that we just talked about is released, and adrenaline is released from the adrenal gland. All of those fight or flight. And if we got hit with a virus, then the body mounts a reaction and is going to fight the virus. Um, if we happen to have our hand on the hot plate, it's going to tell the muscles to react to get out of that situation. It may decide that it's just going to tolerate the condition. That fight or flight reaction that we've just gone over is the initial alarm reaction. If the stress continues, and this is the problem with chronic stress, if the stress continues, we no longer have that immediate reaction. The body shifts into what Dr. Selye described as a stage of resistance. This is the long-term reaction to chronic stress in our lives. If the stressor doesn't go away, the body now is going to readapt. It's going to increase the cortisol, the steroid, the natural steroid. That steroid that keeps us alive when we're stressed is going to be maintained at a higher level. Aldosterone is going to be maintained at a higher level. Growth hormone is secreted. Growth hormone is helpful and uh, not helpful. These long-term adaptations, uh, the thyroid hormone is going to be elevated, trying to keep up and trying to produce more energy. What we have basically done in this stage is we have this stressor and the body is reacting to this stressor. So it is now handling the stressor. But it cannot handle another stress. It is less able to handle the second and the third stressor. So if now things start falling apart with another stressor, our body may not be able to uh, handle it. Stage of resistance, chronic upregulation of the life-saving conditions. If that is then maintained and the chronic stressor does not go away, that upregulated um, um, up stage will now get into a stage that we call exhaustion. The adrenal gland that's been pumping at high levels cortisol, high levels aldosterone, is now actually enlarged. And on CAT scan, MRIs, we can actually see the adrenal glands have doubled in size. But now, once they've reached this stage, they can no longer keep up with it. And those adrenal hormones, the DHEA and the cortisol, instead of being high all the time, have now fallen down, not just to normal, but below normal. And we now have entered a stage where there is multi-organ breakdown. All the organs of the body will now start to break down. And it will start with the most susceptible or the weakest organ in our body. So the adrenal gland has enlarged the lymphatics. The immune system has now been at super level. Cortisol has been high which has suppressed the immune system, but other factors have tried to improve the immune system. The immune system falls down, and so now we're going to get more infections. We're going to get more autoimmune diseases, more rheumatoid arthritis, more diabetes. The body is going to attack itself. More of that's going to occur. The gastrointestinal tract will actually get into a stress state, and then will now start bleeding. Because the cortisol levels have been high, growth hormone levels have been high, the proteins that are in our body have actually started to be breaking down. The muscles will start to waste. And those of you that may have been involved in a uh, weight building protein, uh, program with uh, 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 the weights may discover that you're doing less weights than you could before, even though you're trying to exercise more. There's actually protein breakdown that is going to occur. 
in the reserves, the depletion of all the reserves will take place. And when the stressor is gone, there will still be a residual damage left to the organs because now we have actually pushed the organs past where they can respond appropriately and there will be some permanent or some long-lasting damage in those organs. And I made a quick list as I was just gastritis, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, hypertension goes up, asthma is worse, rheumatoid arthritis, migraine headaches are worse, anxiety, depression, any chronic disease, and premature death are all pieces of the stage of exhaustion that Selye does.